Hey, June, this is Larry Powell of Top Shelf Rankings. Uh, Kimberly called and talked to you earlier today. She said you might be interested in taking a look at this video. So I just wanted to get this over to you today as quick as possible. In this video, I'm going to outline how you can utilize your website to generate more leads um, by utilizing Google. Um, there's three things we're going to go over in this video, and those are content, backlinks, and citations. I'm going to talk about what those three things are and how you can implement them into your website and utilize them on your website to pass up your competition. So taking a look at your website, I, I did look it over a little bit before I hopped on here. And the biggest thing I see lacking on your website is content. Um, there was a study done a few years back where Google looked at all the top ranked sites across multiple niches. And what they found from this study is the top ranked sites all had at least 1,500 to 2,000 words of content on this homepage, okay? And with that content, it's also important to make sure that you have the search terms you actually wanna be found for in that content as well. I did see that you guys were in Sunnyvale. Um, I know you guys are just outside of San Jose. So I did find a great search term for you guys. Actually, Painter San Jose is getting 700 searches per month. So that's, you know, being in the top spot, you can count on getting about 33% of that search traffic. So you're a little over 200 searches per month to be headed towards your website if you are ranking in the top spot just for that one search term. So as you're going through and doing your content for your website, it's important that you make sure, again, you have those search terms in the content. So if you guys do want to work for or do work in San Jose and you want to rank for the search term Painter San Jose, you have to make sure that you have that search term in your content. Okay. Uh, even if you don't, if you just want to focus on Sunnyvale, that's totally fine as well. But make, make sure that you have the search terms related to Sunnyvale and painting in this content on this homepage. Okay. Um, looking at Painter San Jose, again, this is 700 searches per month. This is huge for your business. Um, first thing you see on Google search is paid ads. So this is people paying Google to have their business listed up here on top. So you can see we got Angie's List, Thumbtack, Home Advisor. These are all businesses or major national companies, I guess in this case, that are all paying Google to, to have these businesses or have these websites listed up here at the top. Then we get into the Google My Business pages or GMBs, okay? The biggest way you can rank a GMB is what's known as citations. Citations is your business name, address, and phone number listed on the websites, like uh, directory websites, like um, a free Yelp page, a free Yellow Book page, even a Facebook page can count as a directory. Now, with you guys actually having a Sunnyvale address and not San Jose, you would need to have a San Jose website or address, sorry, um, a San Jose address in order to rank your GMB for this because location proximity does play a little bit of weight into it, uh, but not saying you can't still do the exact same thing for Sunnyvale. At the end of the day, the goal here is to have more citations than what your competition has. So if your competition has 20 citations, you want to go out there and get 50 of them because you want to beat your competition out in every way possible. Another big factor for how you get your business into this top three is your organic rankings. So where you sit organically in these search results actually plays a lot of weight as if you're going to be in the top three here. So looking at the organic search results, we can see Yelp is the top business. And this is actually a great sign. Um, you have Home Advisor right behind them. But the reason why I say this is a great sign is because Google really prefers to rank the small business owner over these large national websites like Yelp and Home Advisor. The reason being is that you have to pay to have your website on Yelp a lot of the time if you do a paid listing and actually want your business to be found on Yelp and you have to pay for Home Advisor. And so the reason why Google prefers to rank the small business owner is because Google wants you, if you're going to be paying for leads like that, they want you paying for their paid ads up here. They don't want you paying these guys for leads when they're doing their own thing right here, right? And so as long as you're building out your website and you're optimizing it correctly and you have good knowledgeable content out there that's going to inform the readers when they're doing these potential searches, you're going to outrank these guys 99% of the time. Looking at the top rank organic website that isn't one of these large national, um, you know, directory sites like Home Advisor or House, we can see Wow One Day is the top one. So looking at their website, you can see that they have quite a bit more content on here. They're probably around a thousand words, maybe a little bit more. So I would definitely shoot for that 1,500 to 2,000 words, and I think that would really help you guys out. Now, looking at the back end of your site compared to theirs, this is where we look at what's called backlinks, okay? Um, there we go, okay. So this is where we look at what's called backlinks. And it looks like you might have had a little bit of backlinks done here. We can see, you know, you've had kind of a steady uptick since December of 20. 
you're up to 23 referring domains. So the best way to describe what a backlink is, is Google's really just kind of like a giant popularity contest. And you're going to be going out there and trying to find, you know, popular websites so that you can put these backlinks on or, you know, copy your URL and put it maybe in a blog comment or something on one of these websites. And when you do that, it brings up the popularity of your site because Google sees it and they say, okay, this popular website says that this least popular website is popular or that they acknowledge it. It's going to bring up the rankings on your site. Okay. Another big part of this is you want to go after relevancy. So if you're going out there and commenting on, you know, websites that are related to the painting niche, then that's going to carry a lot more weight than if you guys go out there and, you know, get a backlink for your local Pizza Hut website because you guys aren't slinging pizzas, right? You guys are painting houses. And so that relevancy also plays a lot of weight behind it. So we can see from this that you guys are currently getting 289 backlinks from 23 different websites. You guys are ranking for 12 keywords and you're currently getting 62 people per month to your website. Looking at the search terms you guys are currently ranking for, we can see Sunnyvale Painters is definitely one of them. You guys are sitting at 11th. See right at the top of page two currently, um, and there's 30 searches per month for that. Um, California Paint Company Sunnyvale, another 30 searches per month. You guys are sitting at 67th. Cabinet Painting Sunnyvale, 50 searches per month. You guys are sitting at 90th. So even if you guys were just to focus on the search terms you're currently out there for, um, you can definitely see some improvements if you increase the amount of content you have while working on the SEO and doing backlinks as well. Looking at what your competition has going on, so this is the wow one day, we can see they have 158 backlinks from 25 referring domains. Um, you know, a big part of this, I know you're probably thinking, okay, I have 25, or you know, they have 25, I have, what was it, 24? The website, or my internet super slow, 23. So you're probably thinking, okay, why am I not right behind them? And again, another big part of that, like I talked about, is relevancy, right? So they're out there getting more relevant backlinks from more powerful websites. And so that's the reason why they're seeing this big jump compared to what you guys are at. We can also see that they are getting 343 people per month. Looking at organic keywords, Painter San Jose, first one there, 700 searches per month. Interior Painting San Jose, another 60. House Painting San Jose, 70. So there's a lot of opportunity there for you guys. House Painter San Jose, another 100. And none of these are that extreme of difficulty when it comes to actually getting them ranked competition-wise. Um, so a lot of opportunity there for your business. If you have any questions on any of this, feel free to reach out to me. You can reach me on my cell phone. My number is 541-968-7159. You can also reply back to this email. I'd love some feedback on this video if you got anything good out of it. If you didn't get anything good, um, still love some feedback of uh, go to hell or something like that. Whatever is totally fine with me. Um, I hope you have a great weekend, and I hope to hear from you soon.